So if you leave your pomegranates on your tree too long, they naturally split open. So what I realized is there's a better way to open and cut your pomegranates. So you want to do it not top to bottom, but side to side. And if you don't want your cutting board all messy, then put a paper towel down. And if you don't want your clothes all messy, then put a little apron on because they happen to go squirting all over. So as you saw, they start naturally splitting. So what I realized is if you start pulling it back instead of trying to pick all the seeds out, you just kind of pop the skin back, the seeds will nicely pop out. Now you still have to do a little work. They might not all pop out and it's kind of messy, but this is the easiest way that I've found to get the pomegranate seeds out. And they kind of come in chunks, so you kind of keep bending it back and, and um, knocking the seeds out. And so you don't want to let them get too, too ripe. And these are one of the tastiest things you can eat, full of antioxidants and extremely, extremely healthy. So it's not a quick process, but this is the best way that I've found. And as you see, we're getting splattered. So it is messy. Don't wear your good clothes and put on an apron. And um, I'm doing it outside today. But and then I put them in a bowl, a glass bowl, and then I have them ready so that when I want to put them in my salad or just eat them, pop them in my mouth. And they're good to go. Mmm, they are good. Okay, that's how you take the pomegranates out in a pretty quick way. I'll get those other little extra ones. So you just pop back the skin and they will be popping out. Okay, thanks for watching. I'm Andrea Schneider and I hope this helped you take out your pomegranates and go ahead and eat them.